السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today we'll take you back to الحلمية to live with me at that time of the 50s to see different professions came out as a pioneering or innovative ways of people who did not want actually to beg others for their life uh, one of them was actually the street photographer the street photographer used to go to the parks with his camera uh, his camera was big and uh, he's standing on three legs and there's a lens in front and there's a big piece of clothes he has to cover himself while he has taken the photograph of the children and the family then take the film and develop it and give it to the uh, to the children and to the family uh, at that time the second profession which was actually when the sewer main pipe are blocked on the street people used to call the government offices to bring some people to clean it what happened at that time amongst those men who used to come to the our area a man who has to take off all his clothes and to jump in and find the blockage and he might be staying for one or two or three minutes and the children were looking at him everybody was shocked because when he comes out you can see what is on his hair and his back and his hand and this poor man I don't know he had any health problem his salary his insurance it's very inhumane profession the third one was actually uh, the second hand uh, uh, salesman used to come and make noises uh, calling upon people in the balcony people behind the, uh, uh, the windows people behind curtain to uh, send the second hand items at home whether it is uh, a chair broken chair or it's a jacket or it's a trouser or it is uh, anything in the house and we call him uh, uh, the second hand man or actually Rababikia Rababikia is, was the name of the thing there was another second hand market where you, whenever you go there to find everything that you uh, dream to find uh, another professional which is knife sharpener this man who is, uh, who is actually called the knife sharpener used to carry on his shoulder uh, a big device made about of wheel, a wheel, a wooden wheel actually and uh, standing on three or four legs and with a device at the bottom and whenever they gave him the knives, the big knives and the small knives he used to put it on, on a stone there and press his foot to try to get the wheel to sharpen uh, the, the knife etc. Uh, salesman as I mentioned everything uh, vegetable, fruits, uh, bread, uh, milk, uh, anything that you can imagine those salesmen come to the street to try to uh, sell it to you. Uh, uh, worn cloth mending. The worn cloth mending it was another very skillful profession. How people in the good old days when they are poor and have poor income when their trousers become old and ruined and especially at the side, at the knee side on the, the back here or the the jacket with the elbows and all this they used to go to this one uh, man who can actually mend it for them he used to go to, to, to put a batch from inside and stitch it with a very very fine thread to be the same color of the color of the material of the trouser or the jacket and others it was very skillful uh, uh, men at the time. A uh, health barber. Health barber, this was actually the stage before sending doctors and medical team to the countryside. Health barber he used to be the man, actually had a small shop either in the, in, in, in the backyard of Cairo or in the countryside where he can do the set concession for boys and girls at that time and can actually, if there's an abscess, can open it up and sometimes use to make this kind of some recipes actually to heal something. Most of the uh, uh, health barber did disastrous uh, uh, problems affecting the people they were trying to uh, treat. Darvish. Darvish at that time were crooks, uh, uh, most, mostly crooks, used to sit in a, in a flat or in a house and inside uh, the dark room they are sitting it, uh, in it you find that there's a lot of smokes, different colors of smokes and you find him uh, wearing different kind of uh, clothes which are lot, uh, covered by a lot of patches and with a lot of tasbih, big tasbih around the neck and with a hat on his head and whenever anyone come to his room, the private room or the 
consulting room or the examination room actually find all this smoke so you can sometimes you cannot even see uh, what you call him darwish or mushawiz but in the reception room he used to have one or two of his uh, assistant sitting with the people a woman is wanted to make something wrong for her husband or her husband is not in love with her and uh, she want yani, all this kind of problems social problems at home they come and when they sit down in the reception room actually one of his assistant used to sit down with them to know her name uh, to know or his name and know the problems and they disappear and they go and tell uh, the sheikh or the dervish at the time the, the name of the woman what she, what 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 she, what's she complaining or the name of the woman is complaining from and once she come to the room which is full of smoke you can imagine like the magician you know what he will tell her oh um, so and so come in how is your husband why is that and she will become impressed of that he knew her story before even she come uh, to, to the room and the peep show the peep show is as another man used to carry on his shoulder a big piece of uh, device which is uh, have a lot of windows uh, or, or uh, to let the children to sit on a, on a disc that he is carrying as well with some of his assistant and from behind he start he used to start to play some music as well as to have this kind of machine to get the uh, the images from from this uh, uh, square to this square to this square to square about the old traditional historical uh, 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 stories that the children are very happy uh, to see them. Then there's a peep show, the puppeter, puppeteer, puppeteer was a clown, which is called a funny clown. He used to come also the, before the circus was developed at that time. He used to come to the streets uh, in different dresses, and sometimes they play with fire, and they get somebody to play with the fire to them, and all the children will be surrounding them, and the people at the end of the day, they throw some pennies uh, to those people who come uh, to uh, the, the, the funny clowns. A magician or a snake uh, charmer. The magician of the snake charmer, this one individual used to have few snakes with him and to, to put it around his neck and to play with the snakes and actually let scare the children as, as well. Uh, fire player who mentioned it. Uh, money, monkey man. The monkey man he used to have a small monkey with himself with a drum and he is actually uh, tying the monkey and have got the rope in his hand and ask the monkey to jump and dance and uh, make uh, the way uh, behave like the man who is not married how he sleeps in the bed the the people actually who are hungry how they do not have uh, 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 food at home and make a lot of these uh, funny images of the people actually and people used to laugh and actually uh, uh, at these uh, acts made by the, the monkey man. So when we look at all this, some of them might be still uh, in, in functioning like actually the monkey man, I saw it in Pakistan uh, two years ago, it was a monkey and a goat actually, but the rest I have not seen it uh, somewhere else. This will give us a signal that actually people, the poor people in this city or this town did not want to stretch their hands for begging but they wanted to innovate to innovate a profession to keep them going and make actually of a uh, uh, good service to the people thank you very much and if you like uh, the video please share it with actually with your colleagues